Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In this video I want to have a quick look at the Panther kernel driver and MISA 24 and in my case 24.2.2 .2. so you need 24.1.1 or higher for the open source OpenGL ES 3.1 GPU driver for the Rockchip RK3588 with the Mali G610. Now I'm not a developer so I had to wait until there was an image available with kernel 6.10 and most of the images up till now they have the vendor kernel and I think that one is at 6.1 at the moment. But I saw that Armbian that they released images with kernel 6.10 so that's why I had a look at the Racha Rock 5B. So that's currently community maintained. And perhaps they st still need to update this text, but I downloaded Ubuntu 22.04. And that one comes with the 6.10 kernel. So for instance, if we have a look here, so here we can see kernel 6.10. And when we look at more system information, uh, we can have a look at OpenGL. So we can see that it has OpenGL ES 3.1 support. Now there have been attempts at getting it working with older kernel versions but I think they all ran into performance issues so I think you really need to be on kernel 6.10 or higher. So if we have a quick test with WebGL Aquarium and if we do 5000 fishes, you can see that we can hit 50 frames per second. So performance is looking uh, very good in my opinion. And yeah, one of the things I wanted to test, that's Ether SX2, the PlayStation 2 emulator and that one needs OpenGL 3.2 or higher so you can make it work with a trick but then you will also notice that we don't have um, yeah all the OpenGL commands that are needed um, so with this command we can activate or, or at least spoof OpenGL 3.3 I think so if we yeah so now you can see that it reports MaxCore profile version 3.3 Um, oh. So when we start it now, and there we go. So I'm at uh, double the original resolution. And yeah, one of the disadvantages of the 6.10 mainline kernel is that we don't have audio through uh, HDMI. Uh, you can get it on the headphone jack. 
but its volume seems to be low and I had some distortion on it. I don't know if it was just my crappy speakers. Well, here you can see this effect is missing. Um, oh, hold on. This doesn't look like the correct resolution that I want. Um, that's right, I want two times the resolution. So that looks better. And you can also see in the top that we're running at 60 hertz. And I don't know if it's just my eyes, but I also have the feeling that, especially with the skin tones, that it renders better than with the Fender GPU, uh, yeah, Fender GPU driver. So, um, yeah, like I said, we, we still need some more work and I think Collabora is working on supporting higher OpenGL versions uh, also Vulkan and perhaps through Vulkan and Zinc that we can get even more OpenGL support but I think this is um, a really big step in the right direction uh, getting the GPU working with an open source driver. So let's just quit this one for now. Um, yeah, I have to say that this image doesn't feel very stable. Um, I also tried to compile PPSSPP. Uh, it did compile, but in the end uh, I did get audio but I didn't get any video and also after that uh, WebGLs looked like it was broken in Chromium uh, because you also need to install some additional packages to compile PP SSPP so yeah that was not a good idea uh, one other thing already with kernel 6.5 uh, they say that there should be AV1 hardware decoding available. Um, I don't think we have that here. Uh, so we can do the Big Buck Bunny YouTube video test. Oh, well, that one crashes, like I said. Uh, the image is not really stable. Um, what I can say is that uh, 1080p uh, AV1 that seems to uh, decode almost without dropped frames uh, once everything is properly loaded. Uh, so in the beginning you get some dropped frames, but off once it starts playing properly, then let's just say you only get like one dropped frame per 10 seconds, something like that. Perhaps when it gets uh, a bit busy or that the bit rate gets a bit higher that you get a dropped frame here and there but that's not really uh, visible for the eye so yeah unfortunately um, it's uh, community support this Armbian image and yeah, as you could see it, it's not really stable but like I said I think that we've made one big step in the right direction. So we do have an open source OpenGL 3.1 uh, GPU driver. And I hope that uh, other distros will follow. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.